Hi guys. Uh, just wanted to do a little bit of a little review on AT&T U-verse. It's a fairly new product actually. It's been out for a few years, but uh, I think they're I think when it first came out, I think it was crap and I believe they've worked on it. Uh, significantly because it uh, seems to work flawless for me. Anyway, we just uh, re-upped or didn't re-up. We just got new service from AT&T and it's uh, the U-verse. It uh, comes in on a fiber optic network to within a hundred yards or a hundred feet of your place and it goes from that to coaxial cable, which I don't really understand. I wish it came, I wish it was fiber optic all the way. That would make more sense to me, but uh, we got the what is called the U300 package. We signed a 12 month, I think it was a 12 month contract, and with discounts, you know, uh, the salesman gave us dis discounts, well, I don't, whatever he can do anyway. It's like a supposedly $112 a month, which is we're saving a significant amount. We were spending $140 a month for, for Roadrunner and uh, Time Warner cable. Uh, Roadrunner was, I don't have a lot of complaints with it. My biggest complaint is it seemed like every time I really, really needed the internet, it was incredibly slow. And that's because everyone, you know, in the neighbor, in the neighborhood, were probably needed the internet at the same time. So with the U-verse on the fiber optic network, I'm supposed to get the same speed consistently, and thus far I have. It's uh, I it's supposed to be 12 megabits per second, but it comes in at 11.54 megabits per second nine times out of ten. But anyway, it's between 11.54 and 12 megabits per second, which is you know it's not the fastest in the world, but fast enough for me. I can so far I've been able to play plenty of. Uh, Xbox games online and uh, and use you know, and use the internet you know without too much trouble. There, there have been some, sometimes on YouTube the videos are kind of slow in loading. I don't know why. I think that actually maybe my computer more than anything. So maybe I just need to clean it up. But this is the the unit itself, and the uh, the top portion being the DVR and uh, and the, the TV tuner and the bottom portion, this being the modem and, uh, and the Wi-Fi. Uh, I really like the fact that I didn't have to buy a modem. That was pretty cool. Uh, I really love the fact that uh, that this guy has a. Uh, we have th we have three TVs in the house and two other bedrooms, and this is the central DVR. It records, well, anything you want to in here, of course. But the great part is you can also do this. You know, you, this may be old news for you guys. I don't know, but in the, in the both bedrooms you can record shows. You know, just like you, can, just like the central unit. In other words, it, it's just like having a DVR throughout the house. Although this is the single DVR that we have, the other units can record TV shows also, which I really like. Um, and plus, anything that's on this DVR, you can watch in any any uh, any of the other bedrooms. Cause a lot of times, my wife really likes uh, some stuff that I really hate. <laughs> she, you know, and she's into the Lifetime and, and then that. And you guys know. You guys know. So this is the Uverse user interface guide. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, not terribly unlike Time Warner's, but truth. It's a lot more responsive when, when you mash a button, something happens, and that I really like. Uh, that's, that's truthfully one thing about the Time Warner's uh, DVR I really hated. It was there was I mean for me personally, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, a lot of lag with the buttons. Um, their own demand selection isn't quite as extensive as uh, as Time Warner. They they uh, they have a lot of movies, but. Uh, as far as the uh, the, the uh, primetime shows on demand, they really don't have a lot. They have a lot of adult movies, which I mean, I'm married, so prefer single people. Hey, great. 
uh, and for some area people. <laughs> but uh, I really like the user interface to it, and I, I like uh, all. It just it's just it's cool. I mean, it just it, it works. It's, it works really really nice. So the interactive is. Uh, I think it's things to come. More, I mean, the, the interactive. You can you can set up uh, four uh, four different news channels to watch at once. I don't know why anyone would want to watch four <laughs> news channels at once, but you can. So, uh, and favorites. I haven't done this yet, so I haven't really messed with it much at all. Uh, the remote's nothing special, really. Uh, just a simple little remote. Uh, no big deal. Focus. Anywho, uh, I really dig it. it it's cool. It uh, it works nice, and uh, no complaints thus far yet. But it's only been like I said, a couple of weeks, so we shall see. Thanks for watching, guys. I personally think. They should really think about how they treat their, you know, their customers, even if that customer is going to be a former customer shortly. Because uh, the guy told me that we were under contract and it would, an early termination fee would, would, of $100 would be added on, and I'm like, we're not under contract with you guys. But he insisted that we had started a new contract, which I, I knew nothing about. So I said, fine. And then... Uh, Call my wife, who who deals with the bills more than I do, so she knows more, so uh, more about what's owed and what's no, not owed. She takes care of that. So uh, she called them, and after being hung up on three times, on three separate occasions, she was hung up on because she, she you know, she was letting them know it's like, look, I don't, we don't, we don't owe you guys any money. Well, the contract's up, so if we want to change, we can change, and it shouldn't cost us anything. And she was repeatedly hung up on. Until finally, and I wish I knew her name because I would say it aloud, a customer service rep who was in customer service and wanted wanted to you know and understands the fact that this is business and treat them nice now they'll come back to you later maybe. Got on it with her and discovered that not only do we not you know are we not in a contract with Time Warner instead of us paying them a hundred dollars for early termination. Actually, we're, we have a credit of close to $100 for ourselves, so they, they're putting a check in the mail for close to 100 bucks because we've paid up in advance. But I thought it was uh, hard to believe that the customer service reps were hanging up on people. That's like, you know, only, some, only a monopoly could possibly treat people that way. And I got news for you, Time Warner, you're not a monopoly anymore. You have competition. DirecTV, Dish, the Dish Network, which we've never tried, and our AT&T U-verse. So, all I can say is, uh, it was really nice knowing you, uh, but we will not be returning to Time Warner ever. But because of the, your customer services, you're, you know, it's like, holy cow!